a few days ago, there is a camp in Athens, which is Elona's camps. Mm -hmm. So in a tweet, you have uh, declared that this structure will be permanently closed before the November or December. How will you make it happen? We have already closed 87 camps. We used to have 121 uh, locations, now we use 34. It's because the total number of people are well below the capacity of the existing camps. So we're closing the older camps, the ones that they are now have gone through their life cycle. Elonas was created many, many years ago. It's an old camp uh, and the whole area now is being regenerated. So the owner of the area, which is not us, it's the municipality of Athens, has asked for their property back. to closing more camps in upcoming years? Yes, we will close more camps if they are not needed. Uh, we have created now a new uh, reception system in the points of entry in Evros and the islands to ensure that we quickly distinguish between those that apply for asylum and are deserving international protection from those that are not. I need to be very clear that Greece is very strict for people coming illegally into Greece. Uh, if people want to come and work in Greece, they should come through an organized scheme like the one we're discussing today. How will you identify the real victims in the border if everyone uh, push back or go back to Turkey or other borders? If people come to Turkey, they can stay in Turkey. Turkey is a safe country for people coming from Bangladesh, so there is no need for people to cross from Turkey to Greece or the European Union. If you are entitled to international protection, it doesn't mean you have a global right to travel to any country you choose. You need to go to the first available safe country you can get asylum in. Are people coming from Africa or, or other region? Uh, Greece is not bordering Africa. So if there are people in Africa in need, Greece is not the first point of call.